how does it come to this that I'm sitting outside my son's playgroup, snow outside, and just kind of doing my own thing? So, you know, this week I've been letting go of the to-do list. And we were told that today is a snow day, no school. So I woke up 5.30 in the morning to have my personal alone time, do some yoga to kind of get in touch with myself before I have to turn to the demands of my kids. And I did that. And six o'clock, my son decides he's waking up. And there went my morning. I was annoyed. And I'm like, okay, it's a flow. Let's let go of the plan and let's see where this day is going to take us. About 7.30, we get a message that we are having school. Get the kids ready, bring them to school. And I decide to do a grocery shop on my way home just in case school's closing early to have my things for Shabbos. As I'm in the store with my baby because his playgroup's on the other side of town, um, I get a message from my three-year-old's playgroup that school is clo is going to close in 10 minutes. Come pick up your kids. I'm like sitting there with half a shopping cart. <laughs> I message a friend who was amazing and took my son home for me. And she called me, take your time. They're having so much fun. Just stay where you are. So now I'm thinking, I have my little baby. His playgroup is open. I'm going to go to his playgroup and bring him. So I drive to him his playgroup. I keep checking the messages, making sure it's not closed. I get there. I come to the door. He actually fell asleep for a few minutes in the car. I'm like, oh shoot. So I can't even bring him home and give him a nap. I come outside the playgroup and she says, you didn't see the message. We're closing at 1145. <laughs> and my other kid's school had sent a message. They're closing 1230. So I'm like, okay, what should I do? He already took his nap. Um, should I go back home, leave him here? I'm like, I just, I'll leave him here, get in my car, and let's see. And I'm like, you know what? I could sit in my car, do some writing, do this video. I don't know, like, just really let go. And I want to share something that I learned last night in a Torah class by Mrs. S.D. Jacobson. She was teaching us about Ar Haman, Baruch Mordechai, why we need to be so confused and why it's connected to Parsha, Parsha's Kisisa, which is lifting up. And they did Chete Egel and the breaking of the Luchas. It seems like fragmented and it's all about lifting up. How does it connect? How does this all connect? And here's where it comes down to. The idea that I took on this week of truly letting go because I'm not in control and choosing what's going to bring joy at each moment because that's really my only choice and that is what the response was we need to get rid of the differentiation between our haman and baruch mordechai because in truth it's all blessings when we do this then we allow for joy to come into our lives because we are letting go we know we're being taken care of, and then we could experience uh, a being held, a flow, um, the choice to choose joy in each moment. And the kisisa, the lifting up, it is precisely when we are feeling the darkness that even within that, we are being lifted up. Even if we don't see it, we don't feel it. Just knowing that everything is truly one. When we feel dark, it's all one. When we feel happy, it's all one. And there's no differentiation in Hashem's eyes, only in our own personal eyes, allows for us to be in a state of being taken care of and feeling a sense of ease that I don't need to worry. I don't know where my day was going to go today. Here I am. Snow is falling. I'm going to go back and get my baby and and go about my day from this state of joy. Have a wonderful day.